Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to today's Token Boast interview. Today we have Mr. Wachala and Mu yeah. from the co-founder and co-CEO of Six Network. Hi. Welcome to Korea. Hi. Yeah, thank you. So, could you give a brief introduction about yourselves and how you got into the crypto market? Yeah, sure. So, start with me. Uh, my name is Mu. I'm the CEO of uh, Six Network. I also run a company called Ubi, and Ubi is a uh, like seven years old startup. It's got around 10 million users in Thailand and in Southeast Asia. And then we actually start implementing our own token inside the ecosystem. So inside our apps, it's like, uh, we got like few uh, number one top ranking apps in Thailand and in Southeast Asia. And then that's when we start considering using crypto for, for these users. I also am uh, a fund manager of a venture capital fund called 500 Tuk Tuk, which is part of 500 startups from the US. And we have been investing in over 50 companies in Thailand and in Southeast Asia. One of my first investments is Omiseko. Yeah. Yes. Since before the Omiseko. Yeah, <laughs> since before the Omiseko, of course. Yeah. Right, so my name is Wachala from Capitology. We are a startup, um, we are a deep tech startup. So we provide social media analytics platform and then just like, so we, we study crypto for a while and then we just think about that this is a good time to jump out. So it's a joint venture with UPU and YDM to work on this project. Yes. So could you give a brief introduction about your platform, Six Network, and how your ecosystem works? Yes. Yeah. So so there's a in the implementation will be a set phase by phase. For the first one is to provide the financial service and to provide the the what do you call the tokenization system for our own users. So we want to prove that our user can use it before we expanding out to, to other people to, to use. So in, in, in Six Network, it's actually designed for, we call the creative economies. So in my company, we have over 350,000 creators, which are like, like comic artists, like illustrator, musician, uh, writers, or even like, like video shooter, broadcaster. So that, that's uh, the creators in our ecosystem. So at the moment, every month, we, um, we are making like hundreds of thousands of contents. They are uploading hundreds of thousands of contents and then rely on our system in order to distribute and, and pay to them. So I think, I think one of the problem is this creator is actually locked into, into our ecosystem. It's the same for every other ecosystem where they upload the content. And the platform itself is actually the one who, who owns the content, not the creators. So SIG is designed to, to solve that by returning the IP to the creators and help them with the, the financial service. Yeah. So UBU itself is the company, is the joint venture between my company and uh, Tencent, is the, the Chinese giant. So we are 50-50 joint venture, and then we plan to launch this six and then implement this system. Yeah. So other than that, crypt, uh, six network, we will have the digital asset wallet, which is can store the crypt I, uh, copyright and IP in those crypto wallets. So it's not just wallet, six wallets, not just holding the cryptocurrency, but can store your IP. And then provide the commerce, commerce part, that everyone or creator just give back the power to them to, to trading their own words. Uh, the pro platform of Six Network seems like a platform where it eliminates the middleman to give power to the creators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, notwithstanding, the, with the facts notwithstanding, will the businesses, or you would say as middlemen, will the businesses be able to benefit, also benefit from your platform as well? Yes, so, so look at this, like, like uh, Ubi itself, actually now we are platform, right? So we see the upcoming trend of how uh, decentralized work can, can help the system. And actually, if we are not the one who first implementing this, somebody will come up with this idea and also disrupt the, 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 the middleman. So we, we rather be that guy and try to disrupt ourselves and see if it really make the system big, bigger. Once everyone is using this, I believe that the total economy will be much bigger and it's actually benefit everyone. Yeah. So when we are in the platform ourselves, that means we're learning what is the problem of the platform. So we not build something from the scratch, so we have the real user, we have the real problem, we know the real problem, we solve that kind of real problem. Yeah, yeah, those, those problems is, is example is a lack of transparency of the platform itself, or it's actually access to the financial service of the creators. So these creators, most of them are freelancers, so they are actually like they're not a full-time job, they're like, like, okay, uploading music, uploading novel contents, they're actually making money, but they don't, they don't, don't earn the loyalty fee as a fixed income. So 
with the proof of concept of our work, we can show the platform, the, we can show to the bank or, or anyone who want to loan money for them, for example, that, okay, this is actually how much they are making each month and everyone benefit from that. So is the product live currently? Um, for, for Ubi itself, it's already live and then millions of users. The first POC will come out by, let's say, quarter three of this year. That's when, that's when we start to distribute six to, to our creators. But now we just have the, the proof of concept to, to test run in the system. Yeah, and we have like um, the, the, the script screenshot on that. So we work on prototyping. Yeah. So it seems like uh, while artists might benefit, uh, one of the most benefits that they receive from signing in with, uh, say, per se, an advertisement company is that they organize a concert or maybe a service that might benefit them. So will your platform provide any uh, services that would help artists uh, achieve some publicity around the people? Yeah, yes. I mean, I mean, the, it's the, for, for the newcomer, right? It's always chicken and egg, right? You, you need some artists before you have some, some mass uh, audience. But in, in our case, it's different. We already have a system up and running. And then like, like tens of millions of users are there and hundreds of thousands of artists. And then we already know what is the problem. So, so I, don't, I don't think we have any problem with the, like, like people using it or the publicity of the artists. It's just how the existing economy like lock up into the platform and in the financial world that the six is going to solve. So, so what makes us very different is that we already have a system that's up and running. So, so that is the harder part, I think, in, in order to introduce like, like how to make people actually using it. So we already have that. So that, that's, I think, what makes really like six very, very different. Yeah. So imagine that you do building something and you want to expand like 1 million user or 10 million user within this year. So it's a little bit hard to do that, but we can do that because we have that. Yeah. So as you said, you guys already do have a working uh, model. Uh, yeah. But do you guys have a cross sale, uh, crowdfunding uh, plans like among your roadmap, or do you guys just plan to launch the uh, app via blockchain or maybe your um, website? We do the crowdfunding. So right now we do the ICO. So the ICO is going to go to like network, but yeah. um, it's going to end by end of this month. It's already passed the soft cap, and then actually it's only not so many million left. So, so it's going to be okay if anyone interesting just just come yeah and join us. So let's move on to the current crypto issue. Uh, lately, the crypto market has been very depressed. So right. from an analytic perspective of developers, uh, how do you analyze that? We are totally into this for the long term, right? So of course, cryptocurrency is up and down. Mm -hmm. But as long as like people are still look at the big pictures, definitely the, the economy will come within like, like maybe as soon as like later this year or next year. But as a developer point, as long as we solve the real problem with the real users, definitely sooner or later, it will justify by itself. So, so we don't, don't worry that much between like, like up and down. We kind of think that, that it's good in a way that it's, it's like, like kind of like bear market now with a little picking up. So, so once everything is ready for it, it's actually good timing for, for us. So we can ride the, the upcoming wave later on. So it might curious our audience, uh, what does Six Network stand for? Oh, <laughs> it stands for Social Identity Exchange. Uh, social Identity Exchange. Identity Exchange. Because you, you creators, you do something. That, and that is on social and you can exchange that. Yes, yes. And, and we are really honored to be here in Korea. And then actually both of us are Thai, but we, we have been working with, uh, for a long time with a Korean partner. So, so like, like Wachalai himself, his company got acquired by Yellow Group. So, so we are working together and then closely and then we see, we see a lot of, like, like my company, we also import a lot of content from Korea creators, from Kakao Page and Lazin and many other creators. So we already see that this kind of like cross-border transaction which fitting really well with the blockchain world. Yeah. So what are your plans here in Korea? Any uh, events, major events coming up or maybe meetups? Yeah, wow. we have another one tomorrow. Yeah, yeah and then we, we um, have like constant meeting with all like local funds and investors. So, so thanks for inviting us for today also. Uh, thank you for the interview. Oh, any last comment to our audience? Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. So again, Six Network is real and we are ICOing soon. And yeah. then the car sale is on live now at Six Network. So, so if you like, yeah, join us if you want. So last time to get your Six Network at the ICO price, <laughs> Yeah, yes. I get it. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. That was Token Post interview, Mr. Wachala and Mr. Moo.
co-founder and co-CEO of Six Network. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.